Hello guys, my name is Vikram Tucker. Today I'm show, going to show you how bulk load in Thailand is different from the normal load and how it may improve the performance of a job based on certain conditions. Now for uh, t testing purposes, I've created one sample job. For the job, I have generated a sample data uh, and generated around 20 million records and loaded it to a sample file so the file contains employee ID employee first name last name city state ID so if you see uh, I have generated this file and it the file size comes around 1 GB okay so I have designed this job just to compare what uh, how much time a job takes when we do not run it through bulk load and how much time is take when we run it through bulk load so what I'm doing is I'm using the MySQL output component to first load the data to employee underscore data table and uh, if you notice I don't have not used any bulk loading in that so it's a simple output component and uh, I just want to see how much uh, time 20 million records will take to load th the data to a table and then I'll also see how much time the bulk loading will take to load the same data into a database table. Uh, to bulk load a data to a table, you usually use the bulk load components provided by Talent for specific databases. For example, MySQL, there is a bulk load component T MySQL bulk exec. Similarly, there are bulk load component for different databases like Oracle like Sybase, like MS SQL. So when sh when should we use bulk load? So generally we use bulk load when, they, when we have a lot of data in our source that needs to be loaded to a data database and uh, and most of the times when we are loading the data to staging tables and then basically performing all the transformations or other uh, data comparison in the database then we prefer to use a bulk load because it allows us to load the data faster and let's say if we pro if we want to perform all the transformations on the talent server then we generally use then we generally use a simple load and uh, simple loads come with an option wherein you can s collect the rejects record let's say if there is some issue in a record for example there is a constraint issue for example, uh, the data that is coming from a source is not confirmed through a uh, schema of the output table. So then we generally uh, reject those records and collect into a reject file. So this uh, normal load allows us to allows this functionality to uh, collect the reject load. But if you see the MySQL bulk load component, it doesn't provide us. A, a utility to or a option to save the reject record so so whenever we are using bulk load make sure we are uh, rejecting all the records before loading the database which are which does not conforms to the schema of a database table so how we can do is we can use t schema check compliance component and before loading and uh, give the same schema as the schema of a component output table and uh, reject all the record which doesn't confirm to that schema and then uh, load the bulk load so I have run this job you see uh, if you see the execution the execution started for 20 million records for the normal load at around 810 and now it's come it's one hour and the execution is still running so let's see how much time it will take to completely load 20 million records without bulk load so you can see that the job is complete now it has processed 20 million records without bulk load and with bulk load as well so let's see how much time both has taken so if you see the run console 20 million record loading without bulk load started at 810 and then finished at 944 so around one and a half hour 
to for processing 20 million loads without bulk load and if we start if you see the log for a bulk load it started at around 2144 and then finished at 2156 around 12 minute so it's a considerable difference between both of them so uh, whenever uh, we have a lot of data and we want the data to be loaded and we ensure that all the constraints will be pro all the constraint checkings and all the schema checking will be done prior to loading then it is better to use the, uh, the bulk load components otherwise uh, when we want to have all the records reject records collected uh, and uh, we don't have enough data then we can obviously use uh, simple without bulk load components